I'm in a groove state of mind. Hello Groove! Welcome to our Groove Q&A number nine. Oh my god, this is a great day. So this is a brand new day and I want to welcome everybody that has joined recently. My name is David Lemon. I am the product experience manager for the company called Groove. And uh, yes, I want to welcome you all that are new. So we just finalized our launch just a couple hours ago or it was quite a few hours ago it is just that we are different time zones um and we did a very good launch where we transitions or transitioned over to a monthly uh monthly pay software company type of deal so whatever normal software companies do that what that's what we do right now if you manage to get in on this previous offer you are in for a treat because you made a really good decision and that's not just me selling you up a li little more that's me telling the truth i who actually purchased the product with my own money i can tell you that this is really going to be a great platform and a great investment for you in the future for me it paid off like multiple thousands of time thousands of times i got hired by the company as well after after purchasing the software using it helping out the community and i'm just basically here right now uh, but for many other users they it, the, the actual payment and the investment that they did for the software it came back multiple times in um in basically in affiliate commissions or by selling their products or by just uh, uh helping out the community and and basically when you help out people they will they will be throwing money at you uh, to to help them even more so that's that's what groove can do for you it can help you help people so we are doing here live Q&As. I'm coming on almost every week, two times, sometimes one time uh, to actually answer your questions. So that's what we are going to be doing. There's another Q&A on Friday. Uh, so this week on Friday, if you would like to jump in, we are doing these Q&As at 6 p.m. Central European time. So this is my time zone. I live in Croatia. It's in Europe. And this is Central European time, 6 p.m. If you are visiting from a different uh, country or a different time zone, just please convert it to your own time zone. I know uh, that this is a noon Eastern Standard Time. This is where our company is based in. So I just need to know this, this time zone. This is Eastern Standard Time in the 
in the western part of the con uh, of the continents and uh, and the world so you can just calculate it according to that if that's easier for you so we finalized the launch we had a very successful launch if you visit our website there's no mention of a lifetime deal anymore because that's not available anymore um we we completely are transitioning over to a normal proper SaaS company where we we sell the product uh, which is the, ser the the software, and we also have services like GroovePay and GrooveCopy Pro and other other things that we uh, that we that we offer to our users. So that was just a very quick short intro. I wanted to just say to everybody, welcome. It's good to have you here. If you have any questions, feel free to jump in into the comment section and ask them. I would appreciate if you could just put a little cue in front of your questions so then I know that those are meant for me and people are people just know to chit chat within the comments answer each other's questions so it's helping me when you put a little cue in front so that I can answer those questions I can see there's a lot of people joining in here Martin Gouda is here Brian uh, Keisha Fox is here Facebook user um, I do not know who this is and I don't know who this is so if you could I would appreciate Appreciate if you visit streamyard.com forward slash Facebook. This is a, a link that you basically give approval for, for StreamYard to see your profile image and the profile name. So streamyard.com forward slash Facebook. If I click on a on a on a comment and your comment shows up and you show up as a Facebook user, I would appreciate if you could just click into the uh, click on the link within the description of this video. There is a clickable link with this uh, streamyard.com forward slash Facebook URL and you click on it, it's going to ask you for permission. Just say accept and that's basically it. Um, you will show up like Keisha and like uh, Bryant and the other people that I'm going to click on right now. So. Rafisha is here saying hi David Gilmore uh blessed I got in lifetime there we go Bryant I agree with you completely and I know that um this if you got the lifetime deal that's going to like pay off real quick um if you just calculate how much that would cost on a, on a monthly basis it's just a no-brainer in my opinion uh, Mark Mag is here Andrew Phillips uh there is uh, Mikhail or Michael, thanks David for your amazing work. Double lifetime platinum now. Ooh, double. Okay, great, great job, Michael. Uh, if you ever want to visit Sweden, we'd be honored to be your host. Thank you very much. Uh, Sweden is beautiful. I would love to to visit it. I haven't been yet, but I I hear all the best. And the people are super nice. I've met a couple of Swedish people in my life, and and no no red flags so far. So. Um, yeah, Karen Allen is here saying hi. All right, perfect. So what we do here on these Q&As, I'm just going to explain it like, like you guys are here for the first time. I, um, I encourage users to ask questions within the live stream. But whenever we do this type of a live stream, I asked, I um, posted about this live stream a couple hours ago. And some of the users have also posted their comments before here. So if you would like to uh, maybe post your comments and you will not make it to, to, to kind of ask your questions live, you can always do this what the other users do. When you see a post from me that with this thumbnail live Q&A, just put your questions inside the comment section of the, of the post. And I'm going to answer those uh, like the first those will always be prioritized to be the, the first ones. All right, so let me just zoom in over here and let's start answering the questions. So Banke Bihari is asking here, um, last year when I asked you about when would a, when would the Indian payment gateways like Instamojo, Razorpay, internet banking, etc., be available with GrooveSell, you told uh, 2022 first quarter. What's the status, please? Yes, so it's still uh, scheduled. We haven't uh, started out on those yet. Um, but it's still scheduled for the first quarter. If there are any delays um, for March, I'll be able to tell you. There were a lot of different tasks that we had to do for specifically this launch. So January and February mostly was used for improvements of our systems and uh, focusing on um, on better credit card processing and on on different affiliate management options and things like that. So that's what was that what was being done during january and february for group sell but now in march that uh, 
that the actual lifetime deal is done and the promotion and the and the launch is done we can focus on the tasks that uh, that are on the timeline that we actually mentioned uh that will be done so that's coming banke there is uh, there is no delay so far we are also getting new devs on board for groove cell so that they are going to be able to help us achieve all of these uh razor pay is coming Instamojo at this moment is not coming and internet banking is something down the line because it just completely skips over the steps uh, of the one-click upsell and things like that. So we cannot really um, use internet banking like a wire transfer with the system we have now. We would need to completely refactor our system in order to be able to put this in. We, we do have it on our timeline, but at this moment, internet banking is, um, is further down the line, uh, probably Q3 late or Q4. All right, uh, Brian Dunn, hope you are well today. In the last Groovathon, uh, Mike showed asking the username password with your Tripwire product. He then explained that you don't need to ask for it uh, again later with your upsells. Uh, that's correct. So you ask on the Tripwire, and then that email gets connected with the username and password that you ask. However, on the... Uh, 16th of February, Mike also said that you ask for it if you need to send it to a third-party platform, like if you are a SaaS provider. That's that's correct. So the username, most of most often you won't need to collect because, for example, if you're fulfilling products in a in a platform like Groove Member, uh, login is done through email and password. So you don't actually need the username in in that case. Uh, for Groove, for our own platform, we use username because that's connected to the affiliate um, affiliate ref ID or, or basically the username that shows up as the referral when you're promoting uh, as an affiliate. All right. Um, however, I looked at the Groove Cell webhook payload data that you sent me, and the data isn't part of the payload. Um, yeah, that's correct because the payload wasn't uh, done for. Uh, the payload that I sent you was done before we actually added on the functionalities of the password and username, but that's the payload that I sent you. This is how it would look like when you don't ask for username and password. Please explain if this is used only internally within Groove, sent externally, or both. This can be used by anyone, uh, anybody. Uh, if it is transmitted externally somehow, at what step? Uh, does this happen and how does it happen since it isn't in the web payload? A uh, great question. All right, so I'm going to show you. You probably haven't come in your funnel to this step yet, so that's why you are asking the question. But whenever you have set up a product within, uh, actually, let me show you here first. When you're setting up your products within Groove Cell, you can come over here to the checkout step. And here in the checkout where you're setting it up, you can come to form fields, all right? So here you see the form fields, uh, but you can also come over here to, hold on. So the button tag, continue to password, continue to, all right. Um, oh, here we go. So password, sorry, the checkout page and the password. So you can ask for username and ask for password for the different price points that you have set up, all right? So this is also within the product setup. But you can also do that specifically when you're doing the actual uh, checkout links or checkout embeds. So when you're creating those, you can actually manage on which step to ask the password and uh, the username. So let me just jump into the checkout forms and links. So you go to Groove Cell, Tools, Checkout Forms and Links, and then you go to create a new checkout form or link or just edit your previous one. And once it opens, you actually can manage uh, if you want to ask for the username and password. And if you want to ask for it, then it asks you where you want to ask for it. All right, so I'll probably need to just create a new one because uh, um, I use uh, I do a lot of testing and sometimes things break on my end. So let me see. Uh, we'll just do test. This. Let's click save. So here you can see uh, if you do one step checkout, it's going to be asked immediately. If you do multi step checkout, then you can ask, you can see uh, the different steps. So this is not showing the username and password fields at the moment, but when we come to this section over, uh, over here for the password, this is where you will be able to kind of control in what step to show. So collect username and password. And then over here, when you turn on the ask for password, collect password at the start 
or collect password at the end you see so if you are fulfilling through groove member for example so you are collecting a user's email and you're collecting user's password uh, this will be used automatically for the members in groove member so you can collect the password at the at the beginning or the end for them um, but if you are selling a, um, a SaaS product for example or you own a software company you want to uh, fulfill or sell and fulfill through Groove Cell, then you can ask for the username and password both and decide where to show it on what steps. Um, and then if you turn that on, if you're asking for the username and password, that will be in the in the payload that uh, that is done by webhooks. The ones that I saw, sent you uh, were created before the password and the username were were available within the within the system. All right, Ismail has a question. First and foremost, big shout out to the Groove team and one special to you, David. Thank you very much. My pleasure. It's been a fantastic launch and the new website is just gorgeous. I agree. We are going to be um, improving it, like creating it much better. But for now, I'm going to show you what we have. Um, groove. Groove.cm. Right. So we are putting in all of the pages. In each page, we'll have um, a full explanation of one of our platforms. So email will be for GrooveMail. E-commerce will be for GrooveCart. Page Builder will be for uh, for Groove Pages. Checkouts will be for Groove Sell. Affiliate program is going to be Groove Affiliate. Social Proof is going to be Groove Proof. And this is actually live already, so you can check some of these uh, these pages. There is many more to come, and we will have twenty something pages. Uh, until we have all of them, we are going to use this type of a, a menu system, but later on we'll do uh, Mega Menus, which is the beautiful, real SaaS platform looking uh, menu that you guys can use as well. And uh, yeah, so that's that's our that's our homepage right now. So when you um, when you go now over to Groove.cm and you click plans, you only have the ability to sign up for a monthly deal, which was just uh, switched over recently. Um, all right, question. What could be the best way to uh, make, create an affiliate program for a product that has already gotten buyers in the system? Should I create a form and set an automation and get past buyers to fill in the form and get added to the affiliate program? You could do that, yes. That is an option if you want to involve your users to kind of sign up. Um, in certain cases, people don't like to be enrolled into stuff that they don't know about. And um, if you want them to participate, in, if you want to enroll, then do this. That would be the safest way because here you actually... Um, don't do it yourself. You don't use their uh, their details without their knowledge. So that's your safest bet, all right? You could do that with the Groove Cell form as well and then create an automation. If somebody fills out this form or if somebody, uh, if you do a, a Groove Cell form, then you do, if somebody purchased a product, which will be a free product, um, and then you automatically enroll them as affiliates through the Groove Mail automations. Um, the other way I was thinking is you could do that maybe. It is not a proven way. I haven't tested it out, but you could theoretically. Okay, so let me explain to you what the process would be. So I'm going to bring out my handy dandy Excalidraw um, table over here, and I'm going to show you. So let's just say that you have uh, you have people already that purchase, and they are already in the system. Now, if you if you want, you can send them to this form, which will be asking them for their details, and they can fill it out, and then send the uh, send uh, or actually apply for it. And that's the way number one. All right, so I'm just going to uh, option one through forms. All right, so this is what you mentioned that that's definitely. A great system however since you already have the people over here and they are already inside your group mail most probably since you did some um since you did some tagging or something already what you could do is um let's just do this you could assign a tag for them 
which will be affiliate or something like that. Just create a tag in GrooveMail and add it to the people. And you can create an automation which will say, um, let's just do this automation to be pinkish, something like this. Um, if a user has a tag, then add them as an affiliate. Okay, which what this allows you to do is to actually um, actually tag people and get them enrolled. This is not a proven way. I haven't tested it out, so you should probably test it out. But this allows you to control. Okay, this person I want as an affiliate. This person maybe don't don't want as an affiliate. This person I want and things like that. So if you if you don't want them, you just don't add a tag on them. So if you don't have a if you only have a handful of sales that you already processed, you could create a tag and then uh, add them as an affiliate through an automation. Um, actually, if you are doing this one, you should first do an automation and then do the tagging because um, if you if you do the tagging first and then do the automation, it's not going to trigger because a trigger is if somebody has a tag. So now it doesn't trigger anything, but if it uh, oops, if it uh, if it trig if you put on the tag, it will trigger the automation. So create an automation first, add a tag on people that you want uh, to become your affiliate, and in theory that should work. I haven't tested it out. Please uh, test it out on from your end, but I believe that will work. All right, let's see. A question from Scott uh, Groovecart. Just to clarify, we have a product. Uh, if we have products set up in our master product list for Printify, Lulu, and personal eBooks fulfilled from Groove member, how do we fulfill a, a single invoice that has two or more suppliers' products? Even if we include free shipping, there are different webhooks or APIs for each of the products. Uh, do we have to receive that invoice and then manually reproduce parts of the order or on separate invoices to each respective supplier? Um, or do we... Uh, or do we have to require separate invoices for each supplier's products during the initial order? How we isolate those in items in GrooveCart? So, um, Scott, you already asked this question multiple times, and my answer was that if you are selling through GrooveCart, all right, uh, at this moment we don't have Lulu. You can sell uh, ebooks, but not fulfill yet through Groove to Groove Member with inbuilt functionalities. You can do that through Zapier. All right. So just to clarify for everybody, Printify is also coming. We have Printful and we have Tscape and we have Slingly and things like that. So, um, so Printify, Lulu, and the other ones that you just mentioned are not available yet with inbuilt functionalities. So, what you need to do, Scott. You have to understand that wh what you have is GrooveCart. And GrooveCart, let's just add this. Um, and let's just put white. GrooveCart. All right. And hopefully I can color this text. How do I select the custom color? Anyway, let's just let's just leave this like that. So this is GrooveCart, all right? And if you have this, this is a supplier, all right? So this is a supplier we are going to market with red. All right, so this is a supplier, let's call it Printful. This is a supplier, let's call it AliExpress. This is a supplier something, all right? So they are sending in the, the products uh, to GrooveCart. So when, when you're importing the products, then they are going to come to GrooveCart. When you're selling the products from GrooveCart to people, let's just put in some people over here. Okay, so this is a person. So you, somebody purchased your product. It's not, it's not this that will be sending out the invoice, all right? So... Um, how did I do it last time? Hold on. Okay, there we go. So it's not like this. 
it's not like this it's not like this so you're not getting the people uh invoices from these platforms because that's irrelevant your store is giving them the invoice all right so you're not invoicing them from the platform itself so it doesn't matter who you have on this side from where you're actually getting the products this this part does not matter all right so that's what i tried to explain you a couple of last times when you asked this question um when a person buys, they're buying from you. So you are sending them the invoice. Let's just say that this is the invoice that you're sending them. And no matter what products they purchase. So the invoice will be sent. Now you're mentioning here some sort of webhooks. I don't know what you're planning to do with webhooks or APIs. Uh, but if you're doing um, if you're doing something through webhooks, then it's probably just a manual invoicing. Um, how do we fulfill a single invoice that has two or more suppliers' products on it? So that's basically it. So the, the people, when they buy, the invoice will be coming from Groovecart for all of the things that they put in the shopping cart. Like, for example, uh, Groovegear.com. All right, let me just show you an example. Groovegear.com, we sell things from different suppliers. All right, so this mug is coming from Printful if you buy it from us. All right, let's add it to cart. Okay, we have uh, an order bump here. Continue shopping. All right, let's just exit out. Hello. It doesn't want to X out. All right, so we now, we now have a one product. Let's just buy a Neon G light. A Neon G light is a, is a custom product that is not a print on demand or a drop shipping product. We actually um, have a direct connection to the suppliers, but we just sell it through our store. So if somebody buys from here, we're just going to um, we're just going to order it manually and then fulfill it to the to the user. All right, this is uh, pretty strange because Okay, we'll need to double check what's happening here. I cannot exit out. Uh, but for example, we also have stickers. Stickers are coming from uh, Printscape or, or uh, sorry, Tscape. So let's see the stickers if they are showing up here. All right, they're not showing up. So let's see Household, Groovezilla International. Let's just check the Brazil store. I know that we have the Brazilla stickers. Or anything from here. Okay, there we go. App uh, groove.app.br. This is Groovezilla wearing the uh, Groove Brazil T-shirt. All right. So add to cart, and then uh, can proceed to checkout. So I want to continue to the checkout because now I have a couple of products on here, and I want to now fulfill this order. You can see I have two mugs. I have the neon light, and I have the stickers. So this is three different suppliers. When I actually uh, go through the checkout over here. I'm going to receive an invoice with all three products from different suppliers, as I showed you earlier. Three different suppliers, but I'm buying from Groovecart, from Groovecart store. So the Groovecart is sending me the invoice, not the not the actual uh, company that the that is fulfilling the product. So hopefully you understand that now. Um, when you're doing this print in demand, you don't. Uh, they don't include normally an invoice inside the package, um, but we always suggest you to just order something from them before actually selling to, for print on demand and things like that. Or you can just put in a note, please don't put any invoices because I'm doing print on demand or drop shipping. So that's it. So if you order it, uh, and if you're basically if you're importing a product from a print on demand or drop shipping platform to your store, your store is sending out the invoice, not them. So that's the answer to this. All right. When creating a product funnel on the Groove Cell and wanting to use our own branding domain, should each funnel has a separate domain like Product Funnel One, My Domain, Product Funnel Two, and so on? I added my subdomain for Groove Cell branding under My Domains, and I couldn't use the same domain for two products fun fun funnel simultaneously. Um, yes, that's not working. So it's a, a product funnel is literally like a site, like a .dot com site. So if you have um, a product funnel, that's uh, one checkout page just consider the checkout page if you're using um one two three dot com 
for one checkout page. You cannot put another checkout page on 123.com. It needs to have 12345.com, for example. Uh, it needs to be different because if or there is already something live on one domain, you cannot do something else on that same domain again. Uh, that's just not how domains work. And you will need to have separate checkout pages uh, or uh, separate website pages if you want to have... Um, uh, maybe two funnels selling the same product, but maybe one for uh, Black Friday, one for Christmas. It, it's going to it's going to be the same thing. You will need to do blackfriday.mydomain.com or christmas.mydomain.com. It worked for the last product funnel I set up, but the system automatically reverted the checkout link for the first product funnel back to Groove Cell Branding. Yeah, that may have been an error, but that's just not how domains are set up. So you'll need to uh, you'll need to have um, you'll need to have separate subdomains or separate domains. So it cannot be one subdomain or one domain for the same two assets. All right, Carol has a question. Hi, David, can you please provide an overview of the impact of the changes for free members, like use cases? If uh, you're a new free member, you can only use one custom domain and you have to choose between connecting this to Groove Pages or Groove Card or Groove Blog, or can you use all the apps with their limitations if you buy, example, three different domains for each one? All right, so with a new um, pricing structure, uh, Groove.cm, and when you click on plans, this is for the for the new people that will be joining in when they join on a free account they will have this so they will have an ability to create one custom domain they will be able to create uh, 25 pages within their website or funnel and they will be able to create unlimited e-commerce stores with unlimited products for groove sell and groove cart and there will be a 3% platform fee. They will have Stripe, GroovePay, and PayPal as an option, but then, of course, the 3% fee uh, applies. And there will be five videos for hosting um, on Groove Video. All right, so it's not... Um, it's, it's five videos in total, not um, five videos only on Groove and then somewhere else, like literally in your video library, five videos. All right, now that you understand this now, um, the question is, all right, David, but I actually got a free account last year. So what happens then? Like, will Groove delete my assets? Then I need to say on that one, no. We don't touch any of your assets that you have created previously. Before, if you created your um, account before the monthly payment, this is for the free accounts. If you created your free account before the monthly payments uh, happened and you created already some assets like three domains, you connected three domains and you connected uh, those domains to three different sites and you had all sorts of different assets, those assets won't be touched. All right, so those assets will stay as they are. The only difference is that if you delete one of those assets, like if you delete site, you won't be able to make a new site. So you will stay with two sites now and there will be uh, the, the button to create a new site will be grayed out. So that's the difference. Uh, we won't touch any of your assets, but if you delete something, if you remove it, if you um, kind of want to start from scratch, you won't be able to do that because the limitation is now set up with the new limits. So coming back to the question, um, you can only use one custom domain and you have to choose between connecting this domain to Groove Pages or Groove Card or Groove Block. So this happens when you want to connect a domain and then you select the primary domain, all right? You select the primary domain, let's just say carolpalmera.com. You have carolpalmera.com and you connected it to Groove Pages, all right? So carolpalmera.com will open your website or your funnel that is created in Groove Pages. That still means that you can connect uh, a subdomain on or uh, carolpalmera.com um, forward slash blog. You can use that for Groove Blog, for example. Store.carolpalmera.com you can use for a store for your Groove card. Uh, for members.carolpalmera.com, you can use Groove Member and so on. So uh, if you see, you can connect one domain, but you can use the different subdomains for the different uh, apps within Groove. It's just only going to get you one domain in total, but you can create uh, subdomains if you want. 
Um, or you can use all the apps within their limitations if you buy, for example, three different domains, one for each app. No, uh, it's one domain that you will be able to connect. And then if you want to connect another domain, if you're on a free account, you will you will have the, the pop-up which says uh, upgrade to get more. All right. So that's the that's the way we are handling the free um the, the free accounts, the new limits, and the the change from an old free account to the new free account. Basically, if you remove some of your previous assets, uh, you will not be able to create new ones uh, if those are within the limitations. Okay, uh, all right. So Donna Fox is watching, so I'll need to be very careful what I say. <laughs> Hopefully, I, I do the answers right. Our members are so lucky to have you on their team. Thank you very much, Nana. That means a lot. Okie dokie. Let's just see. This was the last question from the Facebook comments. So hopefully I got your questions answered. And if you have any, please just put them in the comments below or left or right from the video, wherever you may be watching. There should be a live uh, live stream comment section. Just, just ask your questions there. All right, so let's just see. We are officially monthly, hard to believe, the best platform ever. I completely agree with you, Keisha. Okie dokie. Martin has a question. I have a lifetime account. I have just signed up for a free account on GrooveFunnels Brazil. Okay. Will there be an interconnectivity between the accounts or will it be will it have to build separately on each account? Um, so GrooveFunnels Brazil and Groove.cm is really kind of a two separate platforms merged into one. We are trying to keep things separate between the two, but as you see, the technology is the same. So um, you could change the language uh, on your account and kind of use it as the as the global account, but um, not sure why you did the, or what was the, the purpose of you creating a free account on GrooveFunnels Brazil. It's the same thing. It's just that GrooveFunnels Brazil was created with different payment systems, with different methods of, of, of managing the clients that is specifically made for Brazil. When you are in Brazil, you, you probably know, um, there are different types of payments. There are different types of way the banking works in there. There are different types of ways uh, people uh, handle online business and online um, purchases. And that's why to kind of cater to the Brazilian market, the Groove Brazil team needed to create something completely different than the, from the rest of the world. You can think of, um, you can think of Brazil as uh, kind of, a pink dot on a Dalmatian dog. Like it's very rare and it's it's very unique and it's something that is special on a on a kind of a larger scale. Um, a lot of a lot of countries do very similar banking, like in America, in Europe, in Asia, but in Brazil they have their own way and they just kind of stick to that. So I'm not sure what your purpose of creating the lifetime or the account on uh, on Grufonas Brazil was, but we will be keeping those kind of separate with uh, interconnectivity in mind that the platform is going to be having the same functionalities, but uh, but basically they do business much differently than the rest of the world. So that's why it's a separate platform altogether. All right, hopefully that understand uh, that explains your question and you understand it better now. I'm just going to make my camera stay in focus. All right. Um, pum, pum, pum. I noticed Groove plans 99 or 299. There is no Groove member included. It's just not mentioned, but you can uh, create Groove member. Uh, let me just uh, double check. Um, yeah, so basically you can create membership sites and everything uh, within the domain limit. So in case you... Um, you have you have one domain on a free account. You can create uh, one membership connected to that domain. If you uh, if you get the higher tiers, you still get members uh, Groove member and everything that uh, that comes with the Groove account is just not mentioned yet on the price uh, on the price plan uh, page. But that's going to all get added in there. Uh, my, okay, I actually read that earlier, um, Todd. 
good morning from California, got the lifetime, but now what should be my next step? It seems like there is so much information and don't want to get overwhelmed. Todd, that's a very, very good um, observation. There is a lot that you could do. There's a lot you can learn from. Uh, but whenever you are starting, my first recommendation is think about what you would like to do, what you would like to achieve, who would you like to help, and what kind of help would you like to provide them. There's a lot of different things that you could do. For example, you can do affiliate marketing. You could do um, directly promote, for example, software companies. You could promote physical products from Amazon. You can create a blog and promote physical products from Amazon. Like, let's just say uh, you want to become a YouTube reviewer and then you want to send people to kind of purchase that product or, or something you want to do in-depth analysis reviews of different uh, cars or different motorcycles or motorhomes or whatever, basically. You have the tools that uh, in Groove that can help you achieve that. So that's just affiliate marketing. You could do also affiliate webinars. Like we are having a webinar uh, just today that's going, to, that's going to be that type of a web webinar where we, uh, where we work with other people uh, we call them in, they teach, and then basically there's sometimes an offer at the end. I don't know what uh, what's uh, today about. There is some LinkedIn topic today, but but yes, we we are also doing this affiliate webinar type of uh, type of campaigns. So what else? We also have Groovecart. Like let's just say you don't want to forward people to buy the product somewhere else. You just want to sell it yourself. Like what I showed you with GrooveGear.com earlier, that's our store for merchandise. You can sell your own products as well. You don't have to have your products. You can just sell somebody else's products. There are people uh, that, are, uh, that are just selling products that are available on other marketplaces, uh, like on AliExpress, for example. You can import those products into your store and just sell it for a markup. Uh, and then AliExpress will ship out the product to your per, uh, to your customer. That's called drop shipping. So there's a lot of ideas that you could do. You could go the coaching route. Like you probably have something that you could teach people. If you don't think that you have something, you wrong. You probably have something. If you uh, if you think about what you are doing, like you probably have some sort of business or you're working for somebody. What could you help others achieve? faster better stronger what do you think you're better uh, than some somebody else in like i've seen um i've seen products that are million dollar products uh, teaching people for example how to create chicken coops like a person created a, an education product which is just a couple of videos with some plans with drawings and and uh, a, a shopping list of what you need to have in order to create a chicken coop all right, so to hold your chicken to not get eaten by foxes and things like that. That's a million dollar product. So if you don't think you have something in you to, to kind of create or, or sell, you just may not have the ideas. But first, when you have that idea on what you want to do, what you want to uh, kind of help people with, then uh, the next step is to figure out how to achieve that or how to fulfill that. Like, do you want to do a v that in videos? Do you want to do that in, write in writing, like with blogs? Do you want to actually do webinars about that? Do you want to create a membership site? Do you want to, like, there's a lot of things. But my suggestion is just really, really know what you want to do. Then ask the next question, okay? Don't go and plan the whole thing out without knowing uh, kind of what you want to do. Like, I want to do this and this, and then I will find a product along the way because I want to do, like... Know your audience, know who you who you can contact. Like, for example, people that sell Bibles, they go to the people that are in going to church, maybe. Or, or if you're selling, um, I don't know, mobile phones, then you can go where the most people are that need some sort of communication device. Then that's your market. That's where you go to kind of uh, sell your products. If you have some sort of audience already or a market where you can go and sell something to like for example um when there's a gold rush sell shovels that's what they say no so just if you have a market if you have somebody already just just ask them what they need and sell it to them uh, groove can help you with all of that so just know what you want to achieve first if you have that you can go to to our facebook community and just say hi i have this idea i want to create it what would be the best way to do it and then you'll get a lot of a lot of um 
lot of different ideas on how you can proceed. Or you can ask me on these Q&As. I can show you and I can draw it out. Last week, I drew out um, I drew out uh, a nice campaign of how I would tackle the health coach business. Uh, for example, like I drew out that I would create a brand website and I would connect a a uh, pop-up that will lead to a funnel and a checkout page and a group member uh, membership area and things like that. So I could draw it out for you. I can help you. You just need to have the questions. You just need to have the idea in your head and uh, oops, and then just ask on these Q and A's. Okay. Um, I know I went a little bit longer. I just wanted to uh, point some people, not only Todd, but um, a lot of others into a direction on how to think about what Groove can do for you. Groove is a tool that you can use to achieve a certain goal, which will most probably be helping others. So just know what you want to help with, and then uh, we'll find, out, find a way on how you can achieve that. What can we look forward in March? In March, actually, we are, in March, we are a uh, approaching the end of our Q1. So in Q1, we have a lot of different tasks that we that we set out to do. Um, new UI for a lot of different stuff in GrooveCart, in GrooveCell, in Groove Pages. Um, what else? Um, and a lot of different new cool features in Groove Pages, in GrooveCell, in GrooveCart. And Groove member. Uh, Groove member is also getting um, UI changes as well. So um, there is a lot of stuff that will be coming in March because that's kind of the, the ending of the first quarter and, um, uh, and not every, um, uh, not everything that we planned with, uh, with the different teams will get done, but most of the stuff that we planned will be, will be added, uh, by the end of the first quarter. So, uh, I mean, what was planned for the first quarter will be, and will be added. So that makes me very happy. I do not have now specific things. I just told you some of the UI changes, a lot of cool new features that I was uh, mentioning before will be added. So, uh, yeah, there will be announcements about those. When will we get the new links for free and paid options? Mark, we will be adding them in the in the affiliates, uh, affiliate promo tools and everything if they are not there yet. So the links will be will be soon uh, updated if they are not yet. But I believe most of them are pointing to the plans because when you uh, when you're doing promotion uh, with a funnel. Uh, with a butterfly marketing funnel, you know where to send people. Like you want to send them to a free account or you want to send them to a to an upgrade to for a paid account. With a SaaS platform, it's a little bit different. We are oh, we are still having the free account, but it's it's a pricing plan on our website. So people can pick and choose the the, the options they want. So there will be a little bit of restructuring needed in terms of uh, of our affiliate links, but uh, just give us a little bit of time. Today is the day when we switch, so we don't have all the answers, uh, or actually I don't have. Maybe Donna and Mike have, but I just didn't collect it from them yet. So give us a little bit of time, or give me a little bit of time, probably in the next uh, q and I'll, I'll have more info on that. With Groove Webinar, will will we be able to export the participants? I don't see that option yet. Uh, yes, actually, you can do that already. So just uh, I'm going to show you real quick. I don't think I have a webinar on this account that I have run, but I will log out and log back in with a different account that I knew that run already um, Groove Webinar uh, that has... Um, gotten uh, registrants. For example, this is our main account and we have a couple of registrants on Groovathon Future Apps Webinar, for example. All right, so if you go to analytics in Groove Webinar, you select your webinar, which is the Groovathon Future Apps Webinar, right? And you select sessions that you want specifically, or you can also select all sessions. And then you select the different time uh, times from when till when. Um, here you can see I have two registrations, and then if I click on the registrants and attend at, and attendees, uh, then I have my two emails over here, and then there's an export button here in the corner. So if you click the export to CSV, you can export that file out. You could also unregister people and edit those people from within this platform. But yes, this is already available, so hopefully that helps. Uh, right. 
let me just move on. My favorite dude from across the sea. <laughs> hey, Alejandro, good to have you here, buddy. Uh, Mark, is a question to confirm additional users in second quarter. Um, additional users is real close to be finalizing. Um, most probably in Q2, but we are really trying hard to finish it by uh, by the end of March. Um, actually, not even Q2. I believe it's not going to be Q2. I believe it's going to be until the end of March. To confirm SMTP also for Q2, this is the same thing. So we are actually uh, actively working on the IP warming, and there is going to be almost... 5,000 or even more people added to, to our uh, to our war, warming lists um, every day. So I believe it's 5,000 that we start with and then uh, start with or right at this moment we will add and then we'll uh, wrap, uh, we'll just put more and more people onto, onto our list uh, to kind of slowly send out and warm up the, the IPs. We kind of stopped with it during our launch. We had many other priorities than warming of the IPs um during the launch so now we're getting back into the system of of adding in users so when you start receiving users from groove mail please make sure you do all of the tasks that we mentioned there um but yeah it should be um the last information i i got was um uh, around march mid-march late march we will have um uh, We'll have already started rolling it out to some of the users. That's the latest news I heard. If there is any any updates, I will be, of course, uh, letting you guys know. All right. Good morning from California. I got lifetime. It seems like there's just so much information. I believe that's uh, that's something I already answered from Todd. How do I set up Groove Webinar? I'm offering a free webinar in three weeks and don't want to offer uh, people a free membership as a sign up. Can you advise um, a free webinar? You could set up um, an automated webinar with Groove Webinar. There is uh, a couple of videos already on YouTube, but I would suggest, of course, <laughs> mine because I I basically work with the team every day on Groove Webinar, and I'm the person that most probably knows it the best, except Donna and Mike, uh, because most of the features that they added are their own ideas but um if you go to groovedigital.com forward slash groovathon this is what we did we had a groovathon before our launch started and on the last day on friday i was showing everybody groove webinar so if you go on to the re replay on youtube here i show each step along the way of uh diving into automated groove uh, webinar all right so here mike gives me over the the baton he actually finished with his intro and some of the updates and then i take over and i go into webinar and basically show you everything that there needs to needs to know so we go over each step along the way and then i show you the moderation how to moderate it how to embed it how to do everything else so uh from here till here uh, you can learn everything that there is to know about Groove Webinar Automated Platform. This is, again, an automated platform. So if you would like to run live webinars, that's not going to be Groove at this moment because we just don't have that technology set up yet. That's going to be coming real soon, but that's just not available at this moment. Is Groove Mail fully functional with SMTP, etc.? If not, uh, what can you do right now? And how do you link it to an SMTP server? Uh, Groove Mail is fully functional. You can send out emails. You would need to connect an SMTP. It's uh, You can get, uh, get them for free. I don't know actually why people flip out when we tell them that SMTP needs to be connected. SMTP, an external SMTP is a good thing. And if you are a marketer, you know that you will need multiple SMTPs. It's just 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 a fact. Uh, for example, like if you have different companies that you that you have on your account, uh, Groove Mail will be able to handle your SMTPs. But you will also probably want to have some um, some other SMTP for sending sending cold emails, for example. So if you want to do some sort of the promotion for an audience that is not kind of directed to, to your business through a form or something like that, which may happen. It's best if you use an external SMTP because uh, because you can just kind of 
close it up and get a new one somewhere else if you want. So SMTP, external SMTPs are real good. You will not be able to do this with GrooveMail and GrooveMail SMTPs because that's just going to get you directly banned. <laughs> so you don't want that. But with external SMTPs, you have much more uh, options. Uh, like you can already start sending, like most of the SMTPs have free accounts. Um, just get SendGrid or get Amazon AWS and you can start sending emails for pennies or even for free if your contact list is small. Um, you will get, of course, GrooveMail, SMTP, but we will make sure that GrooveMail um, has the best deliverability. And that's where a lot of people will, uh, will try and trick the system, maybe send out cold emails or whatever, just spammy emails. And those users will get banned because we don't want that in our platform. You don't want to lose deliverability uh, of your emails. And we just need to put in some, uh, some protection uh, for you from other users that may harm. It. So SMTPs will allow even those that kind of got slapped uh, to not use GrooveMail uh, SMTPs anymore, they will still be able to use GrooveMail, just maybe not using our SMTPs. So uh, external SMTPs is a good thing. I, I, I just wanted to explain that, that this is not a bad thing. Like I would personally use GrooveMail with an external SMTP any day because I know how good GrooveMail is because it connects to every other aspect of the, of the Groove platform. So uh, don't think about SMTPs as bad. This is, this is a really cool thing that you could do it. All right, so um, let me just go back to the question. If not, what can you do right now and how do you link it to an SMTP? If you just go to create a sender in GrooveMail, you'll get uh, you'll get the platforms that we integrate with, SendGrid, SparkPost, uh, Mailgun, Amazon AWS, and there will be the actual um, GrooveMail SMTP coming soon. But uh, for now, just pick any of the available ones and uh, go onto their site, create a free account, copy over the credentials, and that's basically it. There is a guide on uh, on most of the platforms, and you can also find videos on YouTube on how to do uh, those things step by step. I've been following your videos on setting up an affiliate program using GrooveSell. I would like to set up a more of a lead referral program that would allow affiliates to use their unique link for uh, for form fills. Will the unique link simply track who the lead comes from and redirect to the original Groove page, or will the unique links uh, create a separate Groove page for each affiliate? Huh? Will the unique link simply track who the lead comes from and redirect to the original Groove page, or will the unique link create a separate Groove page? No. So what you are trying to do is lead referral, and that's basically what we did now with our with our webinars, like for example, when you sign up for a webinar, we were tracking that. We knew who sent the people to sign up for a webinar. That's basically just a normal referral in within GrooveSell. So what you would need to do, create a, a product or basically create a, a form in GrooveSell that is, that is having an affiliate program, all right? So create a $0 product and just call it, I don't know, leads or whatever and um, set up a product for zero dollars and then you just ask for uh for name for first name last name email and some of the other information that you want but you exclude everything else like you don't need the address and things like that so that's basically going to create a form where somebody signs up they will get added immediately to become affiliates and then you can uh, track those people those affiliates will have their own links and when they send out the, the affiliates will be uh, the referrals will be tracked to those affiliates so that's how you create a lead uh, generation kind of affiliate platform if that's what you're asking uh, you are talking here about the redirect to original group pages or the unique link to create um, so you have one content page one sales page really where you're selling the signups or you're selling people to kind of sign up for your uh for your program or, or, or affiliate program or whatever um that's the page the affiliate link will will redirect to so that's where you want to send people and that's one page and uh the url will be just shown it, there will be just an uh, affiliate id added at the end uh, of the 
of the link when somebody's promoting. Hopefully that explains you the, uh, uh, this whole question. Hey David, do we need to buy another domain for Groovecart or can we use subdomain from the root domain? You can use a subdomain from the root domain. Uh, how do I install an SSL certificate inside Groove without using Cloudflare? Uh, you need to reach out to our support team. Uh, we have a different system for, for doing that. If you want to use an SSL certificate, reach out to our support. They would be able to, uh, to give you more information about that. The coolest couple, Pat and Lorna. Hey, cool, Dave. Uh, for a free trip where, where we are collecting email, username, and password for a free membership, we can find a way to not require the country and region. Can you turn it off? Uh, for a free trip wire, um, I believe you can do that. Uh, this is in Groove Cell links. Um, boo, 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 boo. You need to make sure that your product in Groove Cell is set up with zero dollars. Oops, this is the main Groove account. Let me just log out. Um, we don't want to touch anything in there. And let's just go back to my dummy account. If you go back to Groove Cell, if you go back to your product, I'll just select this product. Make sure your pricing is on zero dollars. Okay, I'm just going to hide in the background. So zero dollars, right? Make sure you click save and then exit. Once you exit it, you can click on this checkout card for the product that you set up for zero dollars. This is going to bring you to the checkout links. And then I earlier just created a, a product checkout link. You can just create a new one here at the upper right hand side corner. I'm just going to edit the, the one that I created earlier, but here, you need to make sure that you have free signups. All right, so this is the important part. If you set up free signups, then in the form field section, you will be able to toggle if you want, uh, you want if you want to ask those specific fields or not. All right. So if you select multi-step checkout or one-step checkout, does not really matter. Price points. Uh, let's just turn on just the zero dollar one. Look and feel doesn't really matter, but the form field. Um, you basically have city postal code country and state turned on here by default let me just turn this off but if you can see now we have a new uh, step over here which says skip billing address if you toggle this on for this product and this price point skip address info and skip legal terms of service all right so you can do you can toggle these on as you want the important step is to actually put the free product uh, as free sign up all right so this is the for the free referrals let me show you that if you have free signups this shows but if you toggle it to this one and you click save and next the skip billing address i don't think that will work i may be wrong it maybe even shows then as well because it just recognizes that the product is a free just see yeah you see it it should it should not be here it should not be here at all i think this is just a uh, just a leftover from uh, we would need to refresh but um, this should hide if we if we don't have a free product so let's just see if we come back to it later it's, yeah it's it's not showing it just needs to be refreshed so if you don't turn on the free signups that skip billing and uh skip billing step is shown but if you if you don't then it does not show all right free signups let's move on it will show up here at a certain point but yeah as as i as i mentioned i'm just playing a lot with this uh with this product funnel so i may have broken a bunch of things in there so that's why i get the oops messages but that's how you do it uh i believe i answered that one I just asked our developers uh, today to remove that. We custom edit the form and it should be uncheckable for free products. Um, actually, Donna, yeah, that's another way to do it. But uh, if the system doesn't know, I mean, you probably have gotten that same answer. What I got from the devs is if the system doesn't know that it's a free product, uh, on the checkout links, uh, or you may have multiple price points, um, 
the those those informations are those that information is necessary from the from the payment gateways but uh, yeah that's the way you can do it already um, can you tell us more about GrooveSell Plus? Will it be available to all countries so they could accept payments without having to go through the hassle of dealing with payment gateways and ETA? So yes, uh, GrooveSell Plus is a very cool functionality. I'm just going to very quickly explain to everybody what that means. Um, if you have promoted any kind of affiliate uh, product from a marketplace before, like a JVZoo or ClickBank, you may have seen that uh, those, platform ha those platforms handle the payments themselves. Um, I can very quickly show you uh, show you how that works. I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to find a JVZoo product. Uh, actually, I, I receive emails like crazy from all sorts of JVZoo sellers. So let me just open one of those. I usually just delete them, but now I can make use of them. So we have, let's see, bin. There we go. So I'm just going to open this up. I'm probably going to be targeted heavily from all sorts of different um, promotions, but you have most probably seen um, sales pages like these and that they have these ugly big buttons and you see powered by JVZoo. So what happens when you click on this one, uh, I don't know what I need to do here, but anyway, um, they redirect you back to, to JVZoo, to the marketplace's checkout page. So this is not the seller checkout page. This is not, the, this is not for example, John Doe is selling this product. So this is John Doe's checkout. This checkout is from the platform itself. As you can see, JVZoo. This is the marketplace. So what GrooveSell will do is very similar. We will have a, a checkout where... Uh, we can handle the payments for different products that you guys sell. What this will allow you to have is uh, you don't have to have your own kind of payment system set up and we can handle the payment for you for uh, for a fee. Like there will be a certain fee. I don't know how much, but a certain percentage of the sale will come to us because we handle the, uh, the payments and we handle all the legal mumbo jumbo that you just don't need to care about if you are using groove cell plus uh now this is a very very cool thing because it will allow a lot of users that may not have a proper payment gateway for example they are in from different countries that we just don't have a payment gateway uh available for or uh i don't know there may be a lot of different reasons you just don't want to handle <clears throat> paying out affiliates you don't want to handle uh, like these uh, tax uh, legal legal papers and things like that so you can have group cell plus enabled for a small fee we'll handle that for you and you're good to go now different countries uh in the world just cannot work with with the banking system with a payment gateway system that we have uh we have enabled like Certain countries cannot even work with JVZoo. Certain countries cannot work with ClickBank because that's just a, like a, a global banking is responsible for deciding who can work with who and, and most of the countries decide who can work with who um, because of different trust issues. It's not on us. It's not on our payment gateways. It's not on, on, on Groove to decide who we can work with or not. So that's just something above above us that we can decide so if you are from a country that we currently cannot or we don't support a payment gateway for like an integration for a payment gateway or you are from a country that just normally cannot uh, have any kind of jvzoo clickbank uh, affiliation or, or basically self on those platforms that's most probably because of the reason that i mentioned like a different legal 
issues or uh, different trust issues between countries and things like that. So that's unfortunately not something we can kind of go around. Uh, we'll do our best to kind of provide all of our users the ability to sell the best of our ability, but that's just some things that are higher power that are deciding uh, who we can work and we cannot work with. So that's what I can say, but that's what GrooveSell Plus is and that's what it will do. We will have that and that's what we are working on very, very heavily because we know that that's a very cool thing uh, and it's going to it's going to allow, it's going to help a lot of people sell more. It's going to help a lot of people kind of get rid of their um, fear of selling and handling the text reports and all sorts of different things that, that comes with that. Uh, and and yeah, that's I just don't have a, at the moment an ETA. We will work on our wallet. We will work on our on our way to kind of handle the payments for everybody. But I believe that's going to come in Q2, Q3, or maybe even in basically we'll we'll we we'll start now in Q1. But we it will probably be a couple month uh, or couple quarter task for actually setting this up. Can I track other affiliates on Groove? Uh, you can if you're using platform. You're if you're using the affiliate programs that are sold in our marketplace in Groove affiliate marketplace. Then you can track um, all of your affiliate sales and uh, and things like that through Groove affiliate. Do you think until December there will be most of the apps implemented? Um, I would say so. Most of the apps, yeah, most of the apps will be until December. We will we will have um, at least a basic version of them. If not, if not for some uh, the the phase one version, there are some platforms that we that we have multiple different phases. Like for example, for Groove Funnel Mapping, we have I believe four or five different phases. The first phase that that we plan is just a like dragging and dropping things on the canvas and just making a screenshot of your funnel map. That's a phase one that we can do. Uh, we can do definitely within the next couple of months. Uh, so before December, that's definitely going to be out. But maybe phase two or three may not be finalized by then. But yes. Uh, okay, there we go. Links are already updated on JV Portal. Thank you very much, Don. I wasn't aware of those. I didn't. I just didn't check. Uh, today. So this goes back to the question from from somebody that asked earlier. There we go. Mark, uh, when will we get the links for free and paid options? Hopefully that helps. Uh, I love that Donna is there because she can just correct me on my, I have to say, incorrect answers or in short, BS <laughs> that I just make or just say wrong. Uh, all right. What is butterfly marketing? That's a great question. Butterfly marketing is a system that allows you to sell uh, your products online, but every person that buys could become your salesperson, which is a pretty kind of crazy idea, but a pretty cool idea and, and something that really works. So if you have a look how we sold Groove until today, it was by selling a free account that is a really, really generous free account with three websites, three domains, all sorts of different uh, things added in there, uh, which was which was a, our lead magnet. We wanted to kind of grab people's attention. All right. So when somebody gets this free product, free account, or free something that you're offering, then you. Um, then you offer them a paid product. So this, this brings them into your funnel. You offer them a paid product, and if they buy, then you can get them uh, get them as an affiliate, uh, or basically, if they get the free product, you get them as an affiliate. If they buy, you can get them as an affiliate on a higher tier, so they get paid more commission if they promote, all right? So uh, free members get affiliate, and affiliate commissions, but like they get this affiliate commission. And then if they buy a product, if they buy your product, they get that many affiliate commissions. So it immediately uh, kind of, they bought a product from you, but it uh, but it brings them over to, to be an affiliate for you to make money out of selling something that they purchased already. So 
who better can uh, kind of promote your products than the customers that purchase from you already. So this is using the, the affiliate um, virality system where, um, where somebody comes into your funnel, they bring in more people, and then those more people bring in more people and just kind of gets wild. So that's Butterfly Marketing, and Groove is the only platform that supports this type of uh, funnel, this type of promotion, this type of viral sales promotion and campaigns. And uh, this has been created or, or thought of uh, from the co-founder of Groove, Mike Filsame, and this is directly built into your Groove cell, uh, account, so you can already start using that now. All right. Does Microsoft 365 Business Cloud email system qualify for using for outbound SMTP email marketing? Um, I don't think so. I may be wrong with this one. Um, let's just check very quickly because I don't know 100% um, the answer, but I don't think so. Microsoft 365 SMTP. Um, me, but it... This type of settings are um, are for for your email inbox software. So there will be SMTP settings, but this is not most probably for sending out mass emails like what the normal SMTPs are created for. I believe, I mean, when you're receiving or sending emails, that's all going through SMTP. But email inbox um, uses also Pop and IMAP these these kind of settings. Um, but um, kind of an email marketing platform doesn't use these and then it just uses the SMTP. So I believe it it could do it, but that's just hacking it, uh, in my opinion. I believe you should use kind of the real SMTP platforms that are uh, maybe even integrated in Groove. There are many more. We integrate with a couple. What is the schedule with the Groove Car trainings with John and Frank? I want to make sure I can put trainer trainings on my schedule. Um, I believe they do um, they do trainings on Thursdays at um, at three p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I believe that's the that's the schedule that they were kind of on uh, so far. Um, but I may need to double check. I believe it is Thursdays three p.m. Um, until now, I believe that's what they were doing. Uh, Man Mohan, okay. I have deleted Groove Card stores and want to reuse the Groove Card domains. They still show as taken. Um, yes, uh, they are not available anymore once you delete it. This is something uh, we have reported a couple of times, but it's just not a top priority task. So you can just create uh, another one. The the thing with the subdomains is that it doesn't really matter. The subdomain is really for just our tracking purposes and for your testing purposes. If you are uh, serious about your business, if you want to kind of deliver uh, deliver a real good experience to your customers, you will just invest that $6, $8 for a custom domain and connect your store on that one. So the in that case, the, the subdomain does not really matter. People get stuck immediately on that first part. It just does not matter. Um, just like if you deleted the GrooveCard store, just put in the same subdomain that you had with a number one on it, uh, .groovecard.com, and then you can use that one. Once you set up everything, uh, you can connect a custom domain to it, and then you're good to go. You don't even have to know about that subdomain anymore. Uh, it just kind of becomes irrelevant. It's really just to kind of connect it to our database so that um, something.groovecard.com will be in our database connected to your account. David, you are awesome. Which country do you belong to? I don't belong to any country. I'm a free bird. Uh, if you ask what type of um, passport do I have, I have a Hungarian passport and I have a Croatian passport. I was born in Hungary and I speak Hungarian with my family, but I live my whole life in Croatia. And I can just show you on a map for those people that may not know where that is. Um, these are not made up words. These are real countries in the world. Let me just real quick show you where that is. Uh, I just don't want to make fun of you. This is just uh, me having some fun. So if I zoom out, 
as you can see here, people recognize Italy. This is Africa. This is the United States, Brazil. So if I zoom in, this little ugly looking country here, it looks like a half a horse. Uh, this is Croatia. Let me just type in Croatia. All right, so this this country over here is Croatia, and I he, I live here in the capital Zagreb, actually here uh, in this part. Um, so this is Croatia, and then next to it is Hungary. So if I show you Hungary, okay, Hungary is this um, this country between Austria, uh, Slovakia, Romania, Serbia, Croatia. So I was actually born somewhere here in the in the middle, and then we we kind of moved that much, and then I just moved here now to kind of live with my family. So that's it. I have a Hungarian passport and a Croatian passport, and now you know that about me. Uh, all right. What do we have next? I have. Uh, AWS with 5,000 uh, per 24 hours. This is what they will give you if you apply. All right. You get 65,000 uh, per month free. There you go. Let's uh, news about external SMTP is news to me. Is this explained further in the documentation? Can you list the link? I'm I'm sure most of group Facebook group uh, don't know this. I didn't. Uh, yes, this is this is explained. There are videos also about this on YouTube if you want to just check that out. When will the new blog blog layouts become available? We are actually working on that one. We got uh, new people um, into the group blog team that will be working on these. Where do I find how many of the leads I sent to Groove actually registered? I sent over 750 leads, but I can't find the number of registrants in my account in Groove JV. Um, go to your dashboard. All right. Go to your dashboard in Groove. Click over Groove Affiliate. And then click on Promos. Promos will show you everything that happened in numbers. So if you have sent any kind of Traffic, those would show here as in, like if somebody clicked on your impressions or or you have some uniques or if you have signups or sales, that will all show here. And you can also go that in deeper, like for example, if you click statistics, it's going to show you even more um, in here and then you can select per date and, and filter it uh, further. All right. Are there any plans for adding tracking link uh, like ClickMagic has? Link tracking rotators. We have plans to improve our link tracking, most probably not to the level that ClickMagic has. It's a kind of a full-on company just doing that. Uh, we will have improved uh, tracking links and uh, and with more power, more management. But at this moment, it's it's our plans are not on the level of ClickMagic. Maybe later down the line. Can we import HTML templates into Groove Pages? Uh, you can, like you can copy paste the HTML code, but that's just not allowing you to kind of edit it. Our Groove Pages builder uses Groove Pages components, our Groove Pages elements in the code that is managed by our page builder. If you bring in another page builder's code, we won't be able to recognize it and then work with that. So. Um, yeah, we use our own components. And if you want to use the drag and drop and the functionality of click and, and type, uh, Groove Pages will need to kind of have that code inside. So this is why when you build out your page with the elements, uh, you can then edit it there because that's the Groove Pages builder. Uh, if you bring in some other code, we won't be able to manage it. When will we be able to integrate GrooveMail with other apps like via uh, via Zapier to auto import new leads into GrooveMail automations? I have a quiz funnel, but can't automatically import leads. Uh, yes, that's uh, most probably going to be Q2. We are setting up GrooveMail to be able to handle uh, the, the imports automatically from Zapier, from different automations, from webhooks and things like that. So most probably Q2. What do you recommend for setting up a contact us form on our website? With GrooveMail form notifications of new messages isn't working for me anyway. It should be working. Um, 
uh, with the Groove Mail form notifications of new messages isn't working. Anna, uh, Groove Mail form is the one that I suggest. Um, you could use other platforms uh, with Zapier and things like that, but you don't really have to. If it's not working for you, please reach out to our support team so they could look into it. You may have not set it up correctly, or there may be something that is uh, that is happening with it. But I was just using it the other day, and there were no issues whatsoever. I actually used it in a in a in a webinar when I was helping a couple of users. I teach live. Zoom yoga classes. When will this type of service be available with Groove? Croatia is beautiful. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, live Zoom yoga classes. We have um, Groove, or not Groove itself, but uh, but some of the devs in Groove are also working on a different project that is uh, that is not a part of Groove, which we we call Fit Class. If you have a look at fitclass.com. This is also going to be managed by by the people, or not the people, but it's it's managed by some of the people from Groove. If you go to fitclass.com, I believe this would be better suited for your needs because what this is is a marketplace which handles the delivery and uh, and everything else that you need for your yoga business. You mentioned yoga. Let's just click on yoga. You can find the different classes. All right. So this is at this moment there are no classes in here in here yet. So let's just find something else. Um, all right. Which you will be able to go to the to the to their to the profile and basically uh, get on classes uh, or and people will be able to find your classes and register for it i believe this is uh this is almost ready to be to be launched but this is something that i would suggest you to kind of wait for this is not a part of groove this is a completely separate marketplace but this is managed by the same uh some of the same devs that work on on groove as well um so yeah this would be something that i would suggest if you still want to handle these things yourself like with your own funnel with your own stuff and not use a marketplace like fit class um then what you could do is um uh, is use stream groove stream later on groove stream is going to be coming i believe in q3 uh, but that's going to allow you to have uh, people like watch you like what i'm doing right now but you also be able to have a hybrid uh, of streaming and conference. Like you will be able to switch between you being the only presenter to a kind of a Zoom call communication where you can have people uh, showing their cameras and faces and you can see them and then ask them questions and they can reply back with their camera turned on and things like that. So that's going to be the platform that will that will allow you to do these yoga classes if you don't decide to do the uh, fit class uh, option all right let me just see where we are david uh, so excited about all the updates i know there is a new page builder coming soon for groovecart is there any plan to have full edit feature for groovecart navigation uh, yeah that's coming with a new update uh, that's coming with the teams is going to uh, it's not full edit feature we are going to have options to modify it and change it but it's not a drag and drop kind of full edit to to kind of move things around fully can we who live and have customers in eu add our customers email list into groove before q2 or do you recommend to wait due to eu gdpr rules where can we find a timeline for uh, of your projects in groove so we don't have a timeline at this moment for these types of things. Uh, for EU GDPR is just a, a top priority thing that is is not on a timeline per se. Some of the some of the tasks specifically for an app we have it already on a timeline. I would be able to tell you, but these EU GDPR thing is all constantly being worked on. That this is a a huge task that that is just not not something i can tell you okay that's the the deadline we will have everything uh, in terms of gdpr uh, in groove so unfortunately that's something i cannot tell you but we are constantly working on it but um, i believe you can already start using uh, groove mail in terms of of gdpr when you're importing your contacts there is a step where we ask you like did your 
uh, contacts on the list that you're importing give you permission to, to email them? If you say yes, if you collected your emails on a different platform, for example, then they already gave you permissions. Um, if you need any more further further assistance with deleting somebody or, 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 or something in terms of this GDPR, if somebody is complaining to you, you can just reach our support and then we can uh, we can help you on that part. But uh, I should... I, I would recommend not to kind of be bogged down by this GDPR. I know that it's important. And if you do your own due diligence, like put in the privacy notice and the disclaimers and the cookie policies and everything that you need to have as a, as a normal business with an online presence, um, if you do your part, if you explain everything in there, then you should be good to go. Nobody could, nobody could touch you. And of course, if you're using an email list with, uh, with, that was collected with a double opt-in basically that that uh, users gave permissions for you to email them then you should have no worries um all right so this was the last question and we reached the one and a half hour mark i will stop now with answering questions and i want to tell you about something that is happening now within the next hour so if you haven't seen it yet let me just share my screen real quick. Let me just zoom out. If you haven't seen it yet, we have this post up in the Facebook group today. We have a presentation with Ted from uh, Prodromu. Not quite sure how to pronounce his name, but he is a LinkedIn expert. And we are going to be talking about LinkedIn Made Easy. In case you are a person that is, uh, that is using LinkedIn or you are planning to use LinkedIn for something, this would be something that would interest you. So definitely head over to, to this link, grooveover.2 GDP, and then this, uh, this person's name, Ted Prodromu. Not quite sure how to pronounce it, but this will help you actually understand how LinkedIn can work for you and your business. So I'm just going to leave the link over here for you guys. If you decide to uh, to join, it's going to be at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 10.30 a.m. Pacific Time, 6.30 p.m. Uh, GMT time zone. All right. So that would be it for today. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that I answered your questions and that you are happy with, with what I what I mentioned. Um, we are going to be doing another Q&A on Friday, which is at the, at the same time, basically at 6 p.m. Central European time for my time zone in, in Croatia. And that is um, noon Eastern Standard Time in the in the americas so if you have any questions in the meantime you can ask in our facebook community if you need some specific technical help please reach out to our support on support.groovedigital.com they would be able to assist you or you can just click the the little uh, support icon from the dashboard of groove that would be it for today i thank you one more time for being here and i wish you a pleasant rest of the day rest of the week and see you on friday hopefully See you. Bye-bye.